Hey agents and welcome to Shadow Gaming. Today we got the targeted loot allocation for July 21st, 2020 and we got title update 10.1 active. So let's get this started. Subscribe and like if you enjoy the content. We do got masks in DZ West so if you're looking for Coyote's mask or if you're looking for the Hollow Man mask which is a DZ exclusive you can farm that in DZ West. It's got that 10% health damage baked into it. And Walker Harrison Co. and DZ South if you're looking for the Chain Killer or the Matador, which I believe the Matador is a DZ exclusive. So that has perfect adrenaline rush. Get that in DZ South. Wyvernware and DZ East, and that's it for DZ. Although Wyvernware and DZ East, you could look for the Claws Out. Since the Claws Out is Wyvernware, I would check out for Claws Out today. I know it's not targeted loot for holsters, but it is possible to probably get it with Wyvernware here. It would be a lot easier with holsters so i'd recommend holsters for claws out but it's possible to get it with wyvern wear all right north side highlights we got knee pads at camp white oak rifles at coney island amusement park overload ornaments at coney island ballpark and gear sets at manning national zoo now just real quick i haven't really played since title update 10.1 came out you know it's just been hours for me basically but well, from what I'm reading, the loot has really improved. The rainbow rolls are going to be addressed in TU11. So if you guys um, have good improvements in loot quality, let me know. I'm going to be playing a lot more today just to kind of see what it's like. But knee pads at Camp White Oak. You get Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads, Fox's Prayer knee pads, and Sawyer's knee pads. It's two exotics and one named item. That's a must have if you have any rifles or M1As. Rifles at Coney Island Amusement Park. You can get a classic M1A, Baker's Dozen, Merciless, or Diamondback. Overlord uh, ornaments. I wouldn't even bother with those if you're looking for Fox's Prayer knee pads. I would just go here at Camp White Oak. But if you want to, you can go there. Manning National Zoo. All gear sets except for the Foundry Bulwark and Future Initiative chest and backpack pieces all right highlights for the west side going first we got seska sro at federal emergency bunker we got rifles again at downtown west we do have lmgs at bank headquarters Ooh, okay murakami at roosevelt island providence defense at lincoln memorial fenris over here at dcd headquarters submachine guns at darpa and mass at the pentagon and knee pads over here at west potomac park okay so providence defense at lincoln memorial that's really good three bosses at the end fast mission you can just ram through it on heroic in probably 12 or 14 minutes this is a great day to farm for providence defense for sure and everyone's always looking for it or better rolls on it and with loot uh with loot quality improved you should be able to get a lot better rolls than what you have on your gear now some machine guns at darpa if you're looking for the lady death or refarming the chatterbox mask for coyotes mask or the vial if you've already gotten it at the pentagon and you got Murakami at Roosevelt Island for all your skill builds. That uh, first piece, I think, is 10% skill duration. Fenris Group at DCD Headquarters if you need that 10% assault rifle damage on your DPS build or anything where you're running an assault rifle mainly. He has your primary. Bullet King Pestilence or Good Times Name Machine Gun at the Bank Headquarters. That's a quick mission to run. And it's got a couple bosses. It's definitely got one boss about halfway through it. And it's got, I think, two at the very end. So that's a pretty good day to get the Bullet King or the Pestilence if you need those. And then rifles over here in Downtown West if you don't want to farm Coney Island Amusement Park. You got a couple of control points here. And Petrov at White House if you're looking for the uh, contractor's gloves. But I would just go over here at Viewpoint Museum. All right, highlights for the east side. We got Providence Defense in Downtown East. Ooh, perfect day for that demolition site. XP farm. I would farm there for the Providence Defense. We got Richter and Kaiser at Grand Washington Hotel. Gila Guard at District Union Arena. Shine a Light at Jefferson Trade Center. Gloves at Viewpoint Museum. Submachine Guns at East Mall. Shotguns at Capitol Building. Golong Gear at Space Administration. And Holsters at Jefferson Plaza. And even a Rolla Holdings at Air and Space. Damn, today's a good day after 10.1. Holsters to Jefferson Plaza, you can get the Imperial Dynasty or the Forge. The Forge just got buffed from, I think it was 10% shield health to 50% shield health. Golong gear for that 10% status effects. Definitely goes one piece with the Eclipse Protocol build. Shotguns at Capital Building if you're looking for the Sweet Dreams Exotic or an M870 shotgun. Aralda Holdings if you have a perfect Headhunter build, you can go to Air and Space Museum for that. Some machine guns at East Mall. You've got four control points right here to farm for the Lady Death or the Chatterbox. I prefer to do the quest though. It takes much, much quicker. 
and uh, China Light at Jefferson Trade Center if you need one piece for an explosive skill damage build. Gloves at Viewpoint Museum for BTSU or Contractors. Gloves for sure. Although it isn't a Black Tusk mission, it still will drop. It just doesn't have that higher chance of dropping. But with the loot improvement you know, going up and with uh, targeted loot and exotics working more in tandem now, it should drop just as easy. But anyway, Honey, you at Judiciary Square if anyone needs that. Uh, and then Richter and Kaiser at Grand Washington Hotel if you need that one piece for uh, incoming repairs for your healer build. And Gila Guard for all your shield builds at District Union Arena. I heard legendary rolls are really good right now. So if you need that, a good shotgun or a good Murakami, then I'd run some legendary today. All right, let's go to New York City and I'll let you guys go. All right, we got Walker Harrison Co. at the Tombs. Chess pieces at Civic Center. Out Summit at Stranded Tanker. Grupo Sombro at Two Bridges. Backpacks at Pathway Park. Assault Rifles at Battery Park. Gear System Mods at Financial District, Sokolo Concern at Wall Street, and Light Machine Guns at Liberty Island. Alright, for the Tombs, I'd run that for the Chain Killer. If you aren't looking for the Matador with the perfect Adrenaline Rush in DZ South today, I'll check out this the Tombs for the, uh, the Chain Killer chest piece if you don't have that yet or you need a better piece or an all red piece. It did take me a while to get that all red piece with headshot damage in it, but it, I eventually did get it. I'm gonna check that out. Uh, Grupo Sombro if you need that first piece for the crit hit damage or the second piece for uh, an explosives damage build for that 15% explosives damage. Alp Summit if you need that 20% repair skills for the one piece. Assault Rifles Battery Park uh, if you need the Chameleon or some top tier assault rifles like the FAMAS, P416s, Military AKM, Police M4s, I'd check that out. I would not go to Liberty Island to farm the Bullet King, the Pestilence, or the Good Times machine, late, uh, Light Machine Guns. I would go farm over in a uh, uh, wherever it was over i think it was over here at i already forgot sorry yeah, over here at bank headquarters okay well that's gonna be it for the daily recommended target loot allocation for july 21st 2020 this is shadow gaming and let me know comment in the comment section below if you guys have an improvement in loot and everything else that you guys are enjoying or not enjoying about title update 10.1 all right guys subscribe and like if you enjoy the content and i'll see you guys in the next video take care agents